and none other than are we going to be using my five string electric cello that's what you see on the cover of my book and i put that there for a reason there it is my five string electric cello and that is my cello is because in my pedagogy i'm going to be including some partitions and some stuff about how to play on this type of instrument with a low f and so to be absolutely clear Typically in classical technique, we only use three clefs. This fourth clef you see here, which is the traditional bass clef with the eight below it. Now that clef right there is what I reserve specifically for this instrument here. And I call it, well, the cello bass. And the cello bass clef is used for a five string electric cello with a low F. And that low F is right here. It gives you all of the notes of a double bass except for the open E. So technically you are a cello bass and that robust low F is right here. And so when you read these type of notes in the cello bass clef, the first three measures are, well, they're going to be here. Zero, three, four, and what in traditional bass clef would be a B flat. It is a B flat, but it's fourth finger here on this instrument. So, so now let's take a closer look at the cello bass clef. That's the F, which is now, as you know, in bass clef would have been a four, but now it's a zero. That's the open string. That's a G and it's the same right there. This is the A and then the fourth finger is a B flat, same logic. And then the C is right here, which looks like we would usually have the four. The one is a D. The three is an E and the four. And these notes may be the more confusing part of the cello, especially because we're so used to reading these notes. All you need to know that these four notes right here are going to occur on the low F, which is here. So four, three, one, zero. The beauty of this instrument is you can vibrate your open C. So it doesn't have to be this open C right here. It can be played in the fourth position. So there you have it, the notes in the cello bass clef. Moving on to the second clef we use in my pedagogy and in my partitions online, you probably see this clef a lot. This is the ancient clef. And because I use this one here for this instrument here, there needs to be a distinction. And so I like to use this beautiful clef right here. And we use this one to signify the simple F clef. Now I'm going to demonstrate the link in between the cello bass clef and the bass clef. And as you see at the end, the last three notes of the cello bass clef end in the F clef, the clé de fa. And then the clé de fa, the bass clef, end in clé d'ut, then in the tenor clef. So let's start here with the cello bass clef. And that is all I have for you today. If you want to check out more of my pedagogy, this is all coming from my scale book, hence the name of the playlist, The Scale Book. But I think the best thing you can do to support my hard work here on YouTube is to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So like this video, turn on your notifications and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you want to as well. I'll try to answer them as much as possible. And if you're interested in more pedagogy directed toward the five string cello bass, well, that's going to be coming up always in the future. I love this instrument and it just has opened a new world of music for me.
So until the next video happens, thank you for subscribing and sharing and watching and all the good stuff. And bye for now.